So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are on day 16 of my 24 day Vlogmas. It has been an absolute mammoth to get to this point, but I've been enjoying it. So we're gonna keep on going. Today we're making a jelly dessert. Now I saw it on the internet and I thought, you know what? I wanna make that because it looks really, really good. So you'll have seen by the thumbnail if it has actually worked. I don't know now because I haven't done it yet. So sit back, relax and we'll get into it. I'll see you on the other side. As I said in the intro, today I'm doing a jelly dessert. Uh, I saw it on the internet, like I just said in the in pre-intro, and it looked really, really good. So I really want to make sure, well, I want to do it, but it's going to take a long time to do because it's using jelly and I've got to make jelly, set it, make more jelly and set it. So it's going to take all day pretty much. So it's one of these ones that looks really, really good when you've done it, but it takes an awfully long time, but it's a bit of a showstopper. It looks really, really good. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. Uh, so it lets you know when I make a new video. As I said, videos are coming up every single day until Christmas Eve, and I might do one on Christmas Day uh, just to say thank you for making it this far. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and see how it turns out. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to break my jelly into cubes. And then... And then I want to put half a pint of boiling water straight out of the kettle. And then just move this around until it fully dissolves, the whole thing. Nearly there. Yeah, that, I'd say that's pretty much done. So I want to now go in with a pint of cold water. Yep, so now a pint of cold water. Straight in. Mix that around. Next step is to put it into the into the containers, into the moulds. Now, like I said, this is a three-stage dessert, so I need to do these lot first. Put it in, put it in the fridge. So I want to go about a quarter of the way up. Yep, to about there. Oh, this is going to make a hell of a lot more than I thought. So now all these just need to go in the fridge and set and then do the same process with the other two flavours. I've got orange and then I've got raspberry. That one was strawberry. So as you can see the entire top section of my fridge is now covered with these jellies. So uh, that should be fun. That'll be two hours in the fridge. So uh, I'll see you in two hours to start the second layer. 
Okay, so now that these are relatively stable, it's been a few hours since uh, I've put them in the fridge, so I think they're just about um, stable enough for me to put the second layer on top. So I'm using now my orange jelly. In the recipe it says passion fruit jelly, but they didn't have none in the shop as per usual at the moment. Anytime I go to get anything, there's just not what I want in the shop, so I'm just using the orange jelly. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be just as tasty. So next I want 285 mils of boiling water and then in I go and it goes So now that that's all dissolved in and all mixed in, I'm going to add up, make it up to 570 mils with cold water. So I'm going to go in with the cold water. And then just give that a good stir. Make sure it's got all mixed in. This manages to sit on top because this is the very very okay so that's managed to sit on top I'm quite happy with that I just hope the rest of it goes that well that's what we do. amazing so this is now in with the raspberry the other two sections have nicely got hard in the uh, fridge dissolve this fully in the 100 285 ml of hot boiling water straight out of the kettle so now that that's fully dissolved I'm just going to add the cold water So now we're going to go and add in the last layer. Let's hope this doesn't all go to pot at the last minute. Okay, that looks all right from that one. Okay, well, I'm kind of happy with the way that one, the last layer has adhered. All right, all done. Now back into the fridge for another two hours and see how that turns out all together. So it's been a long process, but now this is set and it's ready to add the final touches to it, which will be just some fruit. So I've got some frozen fruit. I'm just going to add to the top. Let's just hope it doesn't fall through, eh? And there we go, all done. So, although it's done, and I'm happy with how it turned out, all the layers managed to stay together and didn't all go into one massive kind of just hodgepodge of jellies. They managed to, the separation managed to stay where it needed to be. Um, I'm not happy with the colours. 
because in the uh, recipe that I saw, they had passion fruit and um, lime jelly. And it, as what's been happening lately, every time I go to the shop, they're not there. Anything that I want doesn't seem to be in stock. I don't know why that is. Am I just going too late? Are people just buying up all kind of thing? I don't know. But it wasn't... I mean, it's, it's fine. It tastes good, I imagine. Because um, I haven't really tasted it yet. But it looks fine. You know, it's jelly. Uh, but yeah, I'm not particularly happy with the colours that I got. I would have liked the passion fruit and the lime to contrast with the blue... Uh, with the red of the raspberry or strawberry. Whichever one I would have chose. But it is what it is. It's a learning curve. Um... Like I said, if I did have the uh, the proper ingredients, uh, it would have been a lot nicer. I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm, I'm trying to be a perfectionist. And it's all right, but I'm not happy with it. Um, thank you for making it this far in the video. Um, I'm back again tomorrow with another video. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet, because I haven't, haven't actually done anything yet, because it's been so busy. And this has taken pretty much all day. It's taken actually 12 hours to make this dish, just because everything needed to set before you could go to the next stage. Um, but yeah, thank you for making it to this far in the video. Please do like, share and subscribe, comment and all that other good stuff because it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And until tomorrow, take care, stay safe, stay warm and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.